In this video about the database from the National Associates of Registered Pet Sitters, I will demonstrate the calendar and financial reports of the database and show how to set up and send invoices. When you log on, you should see a page like this. If you've looked at other areas of the website and want to return to the database, click on the red My Account button in the top right area. To open the database, click on the Pet Sitting Bookings title bar here. First, I'll show you the calendar. Your calendar will allow you to see at a glance your availability for any particular day, week or month, etc. Your bookings are colour-coded each week so that you can easily distinguish them. The bookings contained within the calendar are automatically input from the bookings page after you create a new booking. These bookings cannot be changed from the calendar page. For example, if a client wants to add an extra day to her booking, you will need to click on the booking from the bookings page and then click edit. Your change will then show on this calendar and the extra day will automatically be added. To add an event or an appointment to this calendar, for example if you are going to a client's home for an introductory visit and the client's details are not yet on your client's list, you can click on the day of the appointment and add it directly to the calendar. This is also useful when you are on holiday or not available, even if you just have a doctor's appointment and you want to remind yourself at a glance. Printing off your daily, weekly or monthly schedule is easy. Just insert the date range you want to view or print off at the top of this page and click on the Print Schedule button. The Print view opens a new browser tab. You will of course need a printer and then print as you would normally. To go back to the database, either close the tab with the print format or just click on the database tab. I'm showing this in Firefox, but it should be much the same in Chrome or Internet Explorer. The Financials section gives you a summary list of your bookings. This page allows you to keep up with your finances. The screen defaults to just showing the last 30 days of transactions. If you want to see more, use the date range and other filter options. For example, if you want to find out how much you have made last month, you just need to put in the date range and click on the filter button. You will see the total sales for that period. If you want to see just the bills that are fully paid or who still owes money to you, you can select here. Unpaid balances show in red and are totaled at the bottom of the table. If you want to look at one particular client's financials, just type their name into the search field and click on the filter button. This will select just the transactions with that client in the date range. You can sort the list by date or client name in ascending or descending order. The Invoices tab shows you a list of invoices. If you haven't done any yet, there'll be nothing to see. So I'll show you the invoice setup first. Setting up the invoice would be a one-off or irregular task. In this invoicing setup section, you can add your company name and contact details as you want them to be displayed on your invoice. Your company details will be saved and can be selected each time. You can also have multiple details and select which to use when creating the invoice. You'll need to add bank details for display on the bottom of the invoice. You can also add an optional company logo, although at this time only one logo can be added. I've already added one address and will now show you adding another. First, click on the Add Business Address menu, then the Add Address button. Fill in your details on this form, then click on the Submit button. You should now see the item you've added here and you have the option to edit or delete it. Now select the menu item to add bank details. This is the bank account that you want the client to pay the money into. Click on the Add Account button and then fill in the form. The cash space is for you to put your terms which might be not accepted or in full on collection or something along those lines. Once you've entered your details, 
click on the Submit button to save them. Finally, the logo image. At the moment, there's only the option to add one logo. Browse to the location on your computer, then click on the image that you want to select, and then click on Open. A JPEG or PNG file will be the best format. Now you should see the file location in the Browse field. Click on Submit and the image will appear above. If you want to change it, repeat the process and this image will be replaced. Now I'll show you how to prepare and send an invoice. Click on the Financials tab, then select the relevant row from the table that appears. If you can't see the booking you are looking for, check the date range. Clicking on a row opens up the full details. Scroll down to the bottom where you'll see three buttons – Edit, Delete, Invoice. Click on the Invoice button. You have four choices in the type of invoice to send here. Invoice, Service Quote, Paid Invoice, Invoice Reminder. The default address that the invoice is from will already be filled from any previous selection. But if you have multiple addresses, you can change it by selecting from the list here. All of the client's details are already filled in and the details of the service provided. You will see you have the option of putting in additional information in these two boxes for additional services here and any notes to client here. You can then select which bank account to be paid to as set up earlier. You will see that the fields then are already filled in. If you'll be emailing the invoice to the client, tick this box and you can optionally amend the details of the title and message in the boxes here. Finally, all the invoices that you have produced are listed on the Invoices page. Again, you have the options of selecting a date range and filtering for a particular client. If you want to check the full details of any invoice, click on the row to open it. You can also use this to create a reminder invoice. We hope these videos have given you a flavour of the database. If you haven't already done so, please do sign up for the 14-day free trial on the website and try the database out for yourself. If you like the database and want to use it, then you can either sign up to use just the database or it's included as a benefit of full membership. The fees are given for these two options on the website.